Oh my god, captcha. Once again. Are they really thinking it will help against bots? So, what is in plans for today? First of all, we need to create server of captured Turkish gives you on Talia Market and then we need to find a practical use for it to make, for example, FAK money. We will make it only for educational purposes, just to show that the system has a big hole in fighting with bots and we will not use it to earn money for ourselves. Also, at the end we will try to find another solution for problem with bots. Before starting actual coding, I want to explain you some moments of this project. First of all, we will make it as simple as possible. That means we will not do reverse engineering to find holes in games or dump it networking. But we will analyze screenshots of the game and simulate mouse with keyboard. The last one is how FAK works, which is forbidden by TOS. For that, I will use language code Python and some libraries like PyAutoGree, Keyboard, PyTestract and OpenCV. There will be more small libraries, but about them later. Let's start from simple. We'll make program which will make screenshot and we'll try to find CAPTCHA on it. For this, we will check if there is one specific color on image which you can see on the screen now. We'll create function which will return if CAPTCHA on screen or not. Now it's time to create actual server of CAPTCHA. But for that, we'll need to know which item we should select. Here is where PyTestract will help us. We'll analyze image using it to get name of item. But to make it work better, we need to cut image with name of object out of main image. For that, I will modify our find capture function and I will implement finding name of object there. Unfortunately, this act is not ideal and it makes mistakes sometimes. For example, here it recognized one zero as symbol add. We can easily fix this if we will have a list of all items in game with their names. For that, I found website called Tracker.dev. They have simple API via which I can download list of all items in game and their IDs. I will save it in JSON file and work with it. Now we will fastly make list of all object names and we will find calls a string using damage chain distance. I am too lazy to implement it myself, so I will use prepared library for that. We will go through all names and calculate their distance. The one with the smallest distance will be a string we will return. Now if we will add this to our solving capture function, we will see that now everything will be recognized correctly. Next step is to actually match images, but for that we need to get them. Tarkov.dev also gives us ability to download them via set subdomain. We'll create local cache of images and download them only once. We already have IDs of items stored in our names disk, so there is no problems for us. To match the image on screen, we'll use match template method of OpenCV. But before it, we'll resize our template image to the size it should be on screenshot and convert both of the images to black and white. From the beginning, we'll try to match images which are at least 90% similar. If it will be unsuccessful, we'll try again but with more percent until we will not find something which is match. If we look at the result, everything looks fine. But in fact, if we look closer, we will see that it's match same image couple of times. This is because if we move image one pixel left or to bottom, we will be still in 80% range of matching. And that is why it matches couple of times. It's easy to fix with simple filtering by distance. Now we will just click on positions we will find and on the button confirm, which we will find by menu algorithm. And we will call function again to check if capture was solved correctly and if not, we will solve another capture. Now we will create infinity loop in main file which will try to find that solve capture for us. Let's check how it works and discuss our next steps. Now we will make a FAK bot for earning money. That will show developers that you can actually get advantage from such simple piece of code. And maybe they will redesign anti-bot system. There's items in this game which you can sometimes buy on the market cheaper than you can sell to trader. As an example, hand drill, which is needed only at the beginning of the game. So after a couple of months it is really cheap and we can make profit on it. There's more examples of such things. Golden egg, nippers, PC CPU and much more. But for that, we need to make our bot be capable to go between different pages and press buttons. All the buttons to switch tabs, buy things, trader icons, sell button and other are always located on the same position in process relation to the screen. That way, we can just store all of them and click whenever we want. The code for that is also very simple. We will define functions to change tabs, go to traders, sell and buy items. Same way we can make screenshot of specific place on screen where price of object is written. In addition, we will recognize which currency it is and remove currency signed for better recognition. We will implement simple settings for our bot, where we will specify stuff like do we want to use different currencies or do we need automatic capture solving, same as all mode and price of currency. Last thing left before we can start our bot, it is items config. So bot could know which items to buy and sell. 
for that we'll create some file where all of our items will be stored. Each item will have a name, price we can sell it for, currency in which we would like to buy it, which is needed for one of the settings, currency in which we are selling it, and trader who will buy this item. For test I've created simple list of items, so now let's finish our main file, which will combine all the stuff together and run the code. So, what can developers do? First of all, they can increase hardness of capture, but if they will still use stuff they have in game, it will not help. Another thing is to using Google Capture, which is popular, and bots can't solve it. Of course, there are services where you can pay to people to solve capture for you, but with the right configuration, which is in my opinion will be much less accuracy than existing one, you can make this not profitable, and people will not write such bots 